Yo, 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 it's your boy Antonio Rodriguez here with Luke Smith. And we're trying to get you all to come to our band concert tonight at 7 p.m. The band concert? The band concert that's tonight at 7 here at the school that you should go to? The members of our band are fantastic. They play fantastic music. They sound amazing. And why would you not want to support our band team that's going to state? First time our band has qualified for state in a long time. So, a long time it's going to be really cool. It's going to be a great concert. We'd appreciate it if you came by. It's free. 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 Welcome to the Ravensport. Thanks for watching. I'm Brandon Bauer. And I'm William. It's Thursday, May 5th. On this day in history in 2002, Spider-Man became the first movie to gross 100 million on its opening weekend. Directed by Sam Raimi, the film was the fastest ever to reach 100 million. Since then, opening weekends have earned even more and more, but it was definitely a sign that maybe comic book movies were something special. It's still Teacher Appreciation Week. Take an opportunity to thank some of your teachers personally. They definitely appreciate it, and it's a spirit week. Today is tourist day and tomorrow is staff student swap day. Congratulations to a second place finish for our Ravens Lady Golf Team on Monday, placing second and third with individual efforts at the tournament. At the tournament was our very own senior Kristen Nelson with a 91 and sophomore Maya Oaks with a 97. That erupted at, at the IMC and the Ravens Lady Golf Team finished third in the team standings. Four-year varsity standout Kristen Nelson led the charge, placing third overall in the IMC as an individual. Girls will be off to districts next week, looking for their shot at state. Wish them well, and the JV girls also finished in the Lightsabers and Mini Death Star tournament yesterday, taking first of all the IMC teams present. Ashley Taylor led the charge with a 96. Great job, Ravens. Both softball and baseball got a huge wins over Kirk County Tuesday. Next up is Pendleton and doubleheaders this Friday. And boys and girls tennis wrapped up their regular season matches with wins versus Pendleton. Next up for them is districts next Wednesday. Have you ever thought about traveling to Europe? The International Studies Program is now recruiting for their spring break 2023 trip to Austria, Germany, and Switzerland. Attend our informational parent meeting on Monday, May 9th at 6 p.m. in the Skybox. Are you interested in cheer? Tryouts are coming soon. There's an informational meeting on May 6th before school, and, we'll, and actual tryouts will be on May 16th through the 20th. Ridgeview's last blood drive of the year is in the gym on May 12th. We need all the blood we can get. Find a flyer in the hallway or get signed up at the table. See Miss Church in room 125 for more info. Are you interested in being a grade level leader in leadership class next year? If so, you need to run for office. Packets are in Miss Church's room 125 and are also in the main office. There are a ton of exciting internship and externship opportunities at Ridgeview. Here are Here's more about some of the, from the computer assignments department. We're here at Ridgeview High School, where many students are able to partake in various computer science related classes. These students have had the opportunity to display their skills outside of the school in various internships and externships. We interviewed some of those students. My name is uh, Jonas Cook, and I'm currently in the cybersecurity externship through Washington State. My name is Julius, and I'm currently in the video game design externship. I'm Kaya Thompson, and I'm doing the Tech Zoomers internship. My name is Brody Couture, and I work at Oregon State University in Bend, and I am what they call a STEM collab intern. Lots of us from throughout the Northwest come together on a Zoom meeting, and we uh, get to learn all about cybersecurity, what it is, um, how we can help it, how we can prevent against uh, cyber, cyber attacks. We're just going over everything about video games, designing them, marketing them, and jobs in the field. Basically gives us a variety of projects to do. Our last project was we had to connect form to a spreadsheet and then send that data to like a um, database, I guess. Uh, I know, it's really interesting stuff. Um, I go in once or twice a week and help the elderly with their computers or whatever technology needs they have. I think some of my favorite parts have been working with a community I don't normally work with. Use a lot of programming within Google tools and it's pretty interesting just to like see all the tools that they use today in the computer science industry. I think it really helped with landing jobs and knowing generally what video game designers do and the different jobs I can get as a video game designer. It gives you a lot of 
hands-on experience. I would definitely recommend intern or externships. Yeah, I'd definitely recommend internships. They really help build experience. Definitely because of how much it will prepare you for a future job. Yeah, I'd recommend it because uh, it's going to increase your chances of getting into college, landing a good job. Uh, they're really looking at work experience right now. This has been the Ridgeview TV Production Department. Thanks for watching. And that's our show for today. As always, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash Ravens. I'm William. And I'm Brandon. Have an epic day. Stay safe and stay classy. I said stay safe. <laughs>